Okay. Wait, hang on. H hang on. How do I speaker phone? Speaker. Talk loud, I'm deaf. Okay. All right, how's this? Better. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Yes. Go on, go on. Okay, so basically, you got this little cobalt girl. She's like two weeks old, but she's like eight mentally. She, you, she's got this dragon friend slash adopted sister, and they met this fox girl. And they're all having two adventures while they're around the countryside, and the whole basic short form of it is her mom went all religious nuts, but cobalt's mom. When she found out her daughter had holy powers. And in order to get Nadia, the main character, away from Crazy Mom, her father came up with this lie where Nadia had a vision that she was supposed to go visit these shrines. Well, what Dad didn't know is he was actually sending her to... Yeah, hello? I'm here. I'm here. I'm listening. All right, sorry. All right. What he didn't know is... These shrines are an actual thing. He thought he was just sending his daughter away from crazy Nazi mom. But he knew there was a shrine in the woods to the north, and he figured it would give him an excuse to get her out of the war. So she could go, and she could live her life, and she could be safe. Turns out the shrines are a real thing, the gods are real, and they have divine messengers. One for each of the monster race. Dragons, Beast types, spiders, yada fucking yada, okay? Okay. So, the storyline is going to follow her and Nadia and her little crew going around these shrines and basically growing up while they go and go on this quest, this pilgrimage, just because. I don't have a good validation or a good reasoning for that, but the audience bought it, so I'm not going to press it. All right. So, Basically, what I'm wondering is, would it be too much of a tone shift to have going to these shrines and waking up their denizens actually be the precursor for an apocalypse scenario? Basically, where the monster, the divine monsters are let loose to wreak havoc on the mortal races, humans, elves, dwarves, you know, people in order that the monsters could become the dominant species of the world. So that Nadia actually has to either decide to side with them and, you know, become the herald of the end of the morals, or band together with people who just don't, you know, who don't want to necessarily see, you know, a good chunk of the world's population just burn to ashes and force the monsters back into the netherworld. Um, what is the possibility of it turning into an orgy? Zero. Oh, then, see, I'm not going to read it. Uh -huh. If it's not an oh. orgy of dragons oh, and I'm not, stuff, I'm not going to read it. Showed you a, I already showed you a dragon suck picture. This is about cute girls doing cute things. This isn't for loops. Well, you know what I think is cute? Orgies. With dragons. Fine, I'll ask someone else. I'm sorry for bothering you. Hey, you asked my opinion. That's my opinion. Dragon. Orgy. Yeah, but yeah, but orgy was not an option. I'm sorry I bothered you. Have a good night. Okay, good night. I don't know why people ask me my opinion. I'm insane for one, and for two, I'm kind of an asshole. Three.